Hello, so today is February 13, 2023. We're in Hollywood, California. I'm Daniel P. Lopez, and we're at the home of silent actor Ramon Navarro. He used to live here in the 1930s. This house was built probably in the 1920s. And Ramon, Ramon Navarro was a silent film actor back about 100 years ago. He did movies such as Ben-Hur, a lot of silent films. He was a big actor back then. He was from Mexico, Durango, Mexico, born in 1899. And he lived here for a period of time when he was doing silent films. And then year, decades later, he was killed by street prostitutes. And later, years later, decades later, Diane Keaton lived here and also Christina Ricci. The front side of Navar no Ramon Navarro's house. And we're gonna go check it out. Standing in front of the Ramon Navarro's house. Look at the architect of his home. This must be the original architect from the original, when the home was originally built, back in the 1920s, about 100 years ago. Que ni desprecios merezca yo de ti. Y sin embargo sigue unida mi existencia. So I'm standing in front of Ramon Navarro's home. Like I said earlier, Ramon Navarro was a silent film actor back in the 1920s and 30s. And he was the first Latino, the first Mexican actor to make it in Hollywood 100 years ago. And this is his home. In the night he was, he lived here in the 1930s. And it was the design. The design was done by architect Frank Lloyd Wright in the 1920s. Pasaste. The plaque of Ramon, Ramon Navarro's home. Hello, so we finally found Ramon Navarro's grave. It took us a while, but we finally found it, and here it is. Like I said earlier, Ramon Navarro was a, the, one of the first silent Latino Mexican film stars in Hollywood who made it 100 years ago in the 20s and 30s. And he was killed in 1968 by two brothers. They were both prostitutes. It was a just some kind of thing that just went bad for, for no Ramon and, and ended up in his death on Halloween Eve. And here's his grave. And I came to bring flowers for Ramon. Here's flowers for you, Ramon. So like the leaves and the trees, we are scattered to the wind. Y si vivo cien años, cien años, pienso en ti. This is Daniel Lopez. I'm gonna ask him some questions about Ramon Navarro. He's a, a fan of his, and I wanted to know, I'm gonna ask you some questions. One of them is, um, how did you even know about Ramon Navarro when we look at his, his grave and he was, he died before you were even born and he was born at the end of the 18th, you know, 1899. So, so what made you, how did you find out about him? Yeah, the first, I don't remember hearing about Ramon as a kid or a teenager, it was as an adult. I don't remember if it was through Facebook or social media or a friend of mine on social media posted something about Ramon Navarro, a picture of him, very old vintage photo. And I love vintage photos and artistic photos and I just clicked on it and Googled him and did a little research and that's how I found out about him. And, found out that he was the first silent, um, well not the first, but one of the first fi silent film stars, for the first Latino, the first Mexican film star to make it in Hollywood in the 20s and 30s, and, and that was how I heard about him. There's something interesting about, there's a, quite a few things that are very interesting him, about him that on this adventure that we've done today, seeing his house, which you'll see in the other footage, and um, about how we know how he came to rest here, uh, 
being murdered, basically. Um, when you found out about him, and I, I know you're of Latino descent, and he's a, a Latino descent, both from Mexico, how does that make you feel? Well, at me, as being a Mexican-American, I feel very honored and proud of it because not only was he the first Mexican um, film star, silent film star, to make it in Hollywood, that's, that's, that's something huge right there, a big, huge accomplishment. You know, he made, he did a lot of silent films. The, one of them was Ben-Hur, the, the original Ben-Hur. And, you know, he just, he also made movies decades later that, with voice and, but yeah, I mean, it's great. <laughs> As um, we, we, uh, a lot of people who don't know of Ramon Navarro, um, we found out that he is gay, yeah. and we found out that he is um, was murdered by two prostitutes that were going after his money. Um, does anything about that resonate with you, or, or how do you feel about that kind of history? Yeah, and I also learned that Ramon was was gay, and um, you know I'm also openly gay, and like so that that was a connection that I had with him too, not just the Mexican thing, but the gay thing, and just me wanting to be an actor back in the day, the, being into the arts and you know stuff like that. I I, I relate with him too, and that's why I, I like him too. Yeah. And we, we all know that um, Hollywood has a dark side, especially when it goes back and you start digging into things like with this thing with the prostitutes. And, and what we learned is that uh, the prostitutes were going into his house for money and uh, came out with like $20 out of, out of, uh, from Ramon's house. Um, is there anything that you want to uh, say about, you know, how he came to, you know, to this place here in the cemetery? Anything you want to say? Yeah, well, you know, we don't know his his much of his history of the, the gay history, but yeah, he hired supposedly he hired a prostitute or two prostitutes, and it just went bad, and they ended up killing him, and he died due to asphyxiation, and it's it's a sad, tragic story. But at least he lived to be 69 years old, and he's an he's he's He'll, he's an icon and he will always be remembered you know it's a shame that his stone is not as big or as extravagant <laughs> as some of the others but hey at least he's got a he's, he's, he's being remembered by people like me is there anything that you've collected on him over the years like like photos or read any books or anything I haven't read books on him yet but that's on my do to do list and I have I have collected a few photos of him, vintage photos, when he was younger and very handsome, yes. Are there any final remarks you want to say about yeah. Ramon? Well, I just want to say that I hope that the people remember Ramon and know who he was. And if you don't watch his movies, at least just just appreciate what he has done and to know that he was the first Mexican silent film star to make it in Hollywood. and. Here he is, buried here in in East LA, in Los Angeles, and you know, to Ramon Navarro, may your legacy live on.